Hey guys, Coach Matt over here at Primal, answering a question today from Patrick. And Patrick has a question on multi-event training. And he says, what kind of rep scheme should a multi-event uh, athlete be following two months prior to indoor? Now it looks like Patrick does long jump, triple jump, discus, and shot. So he's wondering when he's in the weight room, what particular set and rep scheme should he be following? Now there's no good answer for this, but I am going to tell you something that I've done with my athletes and with people that, I, that have sent me these type of emails before, what I tell them to do. And this seems to work really, really well and it's very simple and basic, but not knowing your strength, not knowing what you've been doing during the off season and, and, and sort of how you've been lifting throughout the off season, this is going to be the best thing to work for you. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the next two months and we're going to break them up. We have one month on the left and we have one month on the right. Now, the first month, you've got four weeks. Okay, the first week, what we're going to do is five sets of six reps. Okay, the second week, five sets of five reps. The third week, five sets of four reps. And the fourth week is going to be a deload. Now, we're going to do that for the first month, and we're going to do that for the second month. Now, every single week when we're going through these reps, the first set is going to be a very easy set of six. Then we're going to go to a easy set of six. Then we're going to go to a true set of six. Then we're going to go to a difficult set of six where you might only get it five or six times. Then we're going to increase again and go to a very hard set of six where you might only get it four times. But we want to make sure that we're gradually increasing the weight each time. Now the first set, probably feel like you can get that 10 to 12 times, but only do six. The second set, you're going to feel like you can get that eight to 10 times, but only do six. And you're going to increase the weight on each set, but only get six reps. Week two, same idea, but with sets of five. So a very easy set of five, a moderately easy set of five, a true set of five, a little bit tougher set of five, and then a, a difficult set of five. Heavier weight than you did during week six, you're only gonna get it for five. The third week, you're gonna do sets of four, following the same idea. The fourth week is going to be a deload where you're going to take it easy that week, maybe do like three sets of five or you know four sets of eight, something very simple with very light weight. Give your body a rest, give your body a break, and then get ready to hit it hard the second month. Now the second month, what you're going to do, because you've been keeping track of the weight you've been using and you've been writing this down like you're supposed to be doing, now you're going to go back and you're going to say, okay, the last time I did five sets of six, I used this weight. Now, we're going to increase that weight again by about five or ten pounds. So if your first week is five sets of six, and say you did um, 135 pounds, 185 pounds, 225, 275, 315. Say you took that kind of 25 pound jump each time. Well now instead of starting out at 135, 185, 225, etc., etc., now you'll go 145, 195, 235. So now you're going to be increasing it just ever so slightly. It's what they call a micro load, where it's just a little bit of an increase over what you did the previous time. And you're going to do that for the whole month. So week two of the second month, you're going to be doing a little bit heavier than what you did week two of the first month. Week two, I'm sorry, week three of the second month, you're going to be doing a little bit more than you did during week three of the first month, and then you're going to deload. That's going to take you through two months of training, but what it's going to do for you is it's actually going to help you build your strength. And that's something that I've said countless number of times here on these videos. If you've been going into the gym for the past two months or the past three months, and you've been doing the same exact weight, you've had the same amount of weight on the bar, You've been doing that for the same amount of sets and the same amount of reps for the past two or three months. All you've been doing is testing your strength. You've been basically going in there and saying, hey, I did it last week, let's see if I can do it this week. And your body has never had to adapt. Your body has never had to get stronger 
all your body's had to do is stay in that same spot the whole time and it knows, hey, next week I'll be asked to lift this weight and I'm going to do it again. Hey, the week after I'm going to be asked to lift this weight and I'm going to do it again. Your body will get used to it and your body will never accommodate and your body will never get stronger. So you need to make sure that you are increasing the weight every single week. You need to make sure that you are upping the weight a little bit and that you are building your strength. You're gradually building slow and steady, building that strength, okay? You don't want to stay at the same weight each week. You don't want to test your strength. You want to build your strength. If you follow this set and rep scheme, you should be good for the, for the beginning of the season. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more exact, okay, what you want to do is go on the website, the primalatc.com, and under the products tab, you want to click on ebooks. Now, under ebooks, you're going to find our brand new ebook, which is called the Ultimate Off Season Training Program for Throwers. This is what you guys should be following during the off season. What this entails, it's a 13 week, a 39 day weight training program of everything that you need to do when you're in the weight room. It's going to break down the amount of sets, the amount of reps, the, amount, the percentage of your max that you should be doing, when you should deload, the plyometric exercises that you should be doing every day, the uh, strength training circuits that you should be doing on those days, and your grip training. It's all laid out for you. You get 39 workouts. I think the price is 37 bucks, so you can't beat it. It's a fantastic book. I've already sent it out to a lot of track coaches at the highest level. We're talking NCAA, collegiate, high-ranking uh, track coaches who have all given it their seal of approval, have all given me the thumbs up, and like what they're reading. You guys can check it out too. I'll put the link right down below. Please make sure you check it out. Take a look at that book. It's going to help you get in the best shape of your life for the beginning of that track season. I hope to hear from you soon. I hope to see your order come through for that book. You will enjoy it.